Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Sunken Contraband Archaeologists working with the Russian Geographical Society recently found the remains of a German merchant ship that sank in 1724. The ship's name is Archangel Raphael, and it plunged into the icy waters off the coast of Finland just about 300 years ago. The ship was supposedly carrying a large load of contraband, all of which went straight to the bottom of the sea. So too did the workmen's tools that were on board the ship and the personal belongings of the crew. While researchers were investigating the wreckage, they came across a Lutheran psaltery. This ancient book has been sitting underwater for three centuries and yet was in almost perfect state of preservation. Its seemingly miraculous condition has left researchers baffled. It doesn't make sense. There is no way that after 300 years submerged, any kind of book wouldn't have totally decayed. Sure, the book isn't in the best shape, it's hard to read and has been slightly damaged by the water, but it still defies all scientific logic. It was printed in Germany in 1692, and not a single page has fallen out or withered in the water. The book itself is a Lutheran religious text of little significance. It's the preservation that's so incredible. It's almost as if the book was kept preserved by some divine intervention. Although, according to scientists, it was likely just the lack of oxygen in the mud where the book was preserved that kept it intact. Number 9. The Message from Mars In 1908, 14-year-old Willie McKinnon was working in his father's garden. Willie lived on Vancouver Island in Canada. It was about 11.30 in the evening when a meteor suddenly came hurtling toward him from outer space. He witnessed the rock descend in a streak of light and hit the ground not 10 feet from where he stood. When Willie picked up the meteorite, he was shocked to find its surface etched with mysterious hieroglyphics. These hieroglyphics appeared to resemble similar symbols from pyramids and tombs in ancient Egypt. On September 5, 1908, a local newspaper published an article with the title A Message from Mars, discussing Willie's astounding discovery. However, no one knows what happened to the meteorite or to Willie. This story did run in the paper, and longtime locals in the Cowichan Valley are vaguely aware of the mysterious history of the meteorite. But since this was the early part of the 20th century, there wasn't much scientific investigation to be done. The story faded, interest waned, and Willie's space rock covered in hieroglyphics was never seen again. Number 8. Psychedelic Plant Rituals Archaeologists recently made some breakthroughs in the study of ancient Peruvian ritual sacrifice. Scientists analyzed mummified heads and bodies recovered from various sites along the southern coast of Peru. They did toxicology reports on the individuals, people who were killed from between 2100 to 500 years ago. The reports revealed that the victims had been seriously dosed with psychedelic drugs. They had been given coca leaves, likely processed into a simple form of cocaine but they had also been given a dose of the San Pedro cactus. This is a plant still used today to create the extremely psychedelic drink called ayahuasca. It's intensely hallucinogenic, meaning the sacrifice victims were intoxicated when they were killed. Not just a little, but most likely hearing colors and smelling sounds. The study was done by researchers at the Center for Andean Studies at the University of Warsaw. The same group was responsible for another recent study surrounding human sacrifice victims at volcanoes during the Inca Empire. They're all about these ancient murder mysteries. In order to determine what was in the bloodstream at the time, the researchers looked at the hair of the sacrifice victims. They also discovered high levels of mescaline, which is found in magic mushrooms and modern party drugs. So here's why the discovery is changing history. For the first time, we are getting a clear scientific view at what was happening to sacrifice victims 2,000 years ago. The victims, which in this case were mostly children, were being fed huge amounts of hallucinogenic materials, then beheaded. Another strange mystery is that much of the material came from the jungle, meaning people in the cloud forests of the Andes must have purchased these substances from other civilizations. This suggests an extensive drug trade throughout South America, beginning in ancient times. Number 7. The Greek Laptop Recently, a statue from ancient Greece was put on display at the J. Paul Getty Museum in Malibu, California. 
The statue was used 2100 years ago as a grave marker. It's about 37 inches tall and shows a woman sitting on a throne while her servant holds open a laptop for her to use. The mysterious woman on the throne looks like she's using a touchscreen laptop, one that's complete with USB ports. Does this ancient statue prove some kind of time travel? Is it a coincidence? Or did the Greeks somehow get their hands on the only working laptop of the ancient world? Archaeological experts say there isn't anything weird or history-altering about the sculpture. Instead, professional archaeologists like Christina Kilgrove say it's not a laptop, it's a jewelry box. The statue likely depicts a woman picking out her daily jewelry from a box held open by one of her servants. Others aren't so sure. Some say it's too shallow to be a jewelry box and that its likeness to a laptop is uncanny. The sculpture could be proof that there was more going on in ancient Greece that we know about and that the elite members of society had access to secret advanced technology. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe while you're at it. Number 6. Cleopatra's Tomb a newly uncovered tunnel may be leading archaeologists directly to the undiscovered tomb of Queen Cleopatra. She was the last ruler of ancient Egypt before the nation was conquered by the Romans. This is a monumental discovery that has the potential to change history as we know it. Let's start at the beginning. The Tapo Cyrus Magna Temple can be found west of Alexandria. It was built between 280 and 270 BC long before Cleopatra ever lived. This was in the days following the death of Alexander the Great, when Egypt was ruled over by Alexander's successors. They built a great temple dedicated to Osiris, and the city of Tabosiris Magna became an epicenter for religious activity. In recent years, archaeologists have found multiple tombs suggesting the temple was used for the burial of royal members of Egyptian society. It was likely in use around the time of Cleopatra's death leading many to wonder if her corpse is hiding somewhere underneath the complex. The tunnel was found about 35 feet underneath the temple by Egyptian expert Dr. Kathleen Martinez from the University of San Domingo. It's unclear how far the tunnel goes. It's partially submerged underwater, as is its foundation. There was likely an earthquake that rocked the Egyptian coast about 1,700 years ago and flooded the temple. However, it does lead to something and researchers are burrowing as quickly as they can to reach the end of this mysterious subterranean passage. If speculation proves correct, we could be looking at the discovery of Cleopatra's remains as early as 2023. Number 5. Ritual Human Sacrifice When it comes to ritual sacrifice in the ancient world, there were many participants. We know the Carthaginians sacrificed their own children, it was a heavy practice throughout Mesoamerica, and ancient cultures in China may have done it as well. But the Greeks have widely been accepted as too sophisticated to perform such barbaric rituals. It's never been thought that the Greeks resorted to sacrificing humans to appease the gods. And yet, there may have been certain cults or groups who did indeed practice the sacrifice of young children. It was likely to appease ancient deities on the island of Crete. In 1979, British scholar Peter Warren discovered children's bones in the ruins of Knossos on Crete. This was once a major city for the Minoan civilization, a group of early Greeks who lived from between 3500 BC to their decline in 1450 BC, and then their sudden end in 1100 BC. What made Peter's discovery so shocking was that the bones had been marked by knives. He interpreted this as cannibalism. He thought people on the Greek island were eating small children 3,000 years ago. At the time, he was laughed at by other mainstream archaeologists who didn't think any Aegean civilization had ever done something so horrible. Since then, other similar discoveries have been found. We have multiple child skeletons that show evidence of ritual sacrifice. Archaeologists even found the bones of a woman who appears to have been killed at an altar and then dismembered and buried with the bones of sacrificed animals. It's becoming increasingly obvious that the Minoans did indeed practice sacrificial rituals, and they may have even eaten children as part of those rituals. Number 4. The City of Oshkintok About 60 miles from the city of Merida in Mexico, there is a fabulous ruined city called Oshkintok. 
You won't read about it in most travel books, and there won't be too many tourists there if you visit. It's a very mysterious place. Very little remains except the broken foundations of buildings, flattened and crushed plazas, piles of rubble, and short pyramids slowly turning into mounds of shattered rock. There hasn't been a lot of research done here, even though the lost city was rediscovered in the 16th century. Oshkintok was likely a major center for the Maya Empire up until about 859 AD. After that, along with most other Maya cities, the place fell into decline and was ultimately abandoned. But Oshkintok is unique for one very special reason. Within a small courtyard in the northern section of the city, one stood a pair of very mysterious statues. We have black and white photographs of the statues taken in the 19th century before they were excavated. One was taken to the Natural History Museum in Mérida, and the other was removed to the Anthropological Museum in Mexico City. These statues are hugely important because they seem to depict robots. One of these statues is even nicknamed Robot Head because it looks like a robot. This is the one currently stored at the Natural History Museum. Its head looks like it was modeled after a toy from the 1950s. Its square has rectangular eyes, and it's wearing a bizarre suit of armor. Historians say its likeness to a robot is nothing but a coincidence. Others wonder if the Maya hadn't encountered metallic humanoid drones during an interaction with alien visitors over 1,000 years ago. Number 3. Ancient Christian Monastery A new discovery is changing what we know about the religious history of the United Arab Emirates. A very old Christian site was recently uncovered on an island just off the coast of the UAE. It appears to be a monastery, and it predates the spread of Islam across Arabia. In other words, this Christian church was built in the center of the Islamic world before Islam ever began to spread. Researchers believe the mysterious monastery dates back about 1400 years. It was buried under the sand and dust of Siniya Island in Am al Quwain. That's about 35 miles from Dubai. The foundation was dated at around 534 AD. The Prophet Muhammad was not born until 570 AD. This is hugely important because it shows that Christians dominated Arabia in the decades before Muhammad was born, before he died in 632, and before the Islamic Caliphate rose to power. Researchers believe Arabia was initially Christian. The people would have prayed in small churches and baptized their babies. But then, in the 7th century, as Muslim belief spread, Christians changed their ways and converted to Islam. Number 2. The Yangshan Quarry The Yangshan Quarry can be found about 10 miles from Nanjing, China. It's a massive quarry that was used in the early 15th century during the Ming Dynasty. The quarry is also home to a large and unfinished block of rock known as a steel. Workers cut the gigantic steel straight out of the mountainside a singular piece of rock that was obviously way too big to move anywhere. Its base is about 90 feet long and 40 feet thick, and that's just the base. The block is preposterously huge, weighing an estimated 31,000 tons in total and standing over 210 feet tall. The mystery is that nobody knows why it was carved out of the mountain in the first place. It's significantly larger than any monolith from the ancient world, or from the modern one. There doesn't seem to be any logic around spending the effort to create such an unmovable block of stone. Some have suggested the Yongle Emperor, who ruled between 1402 and 1424. Maybe he had a plan for moving the block. He may have had some secret access to an advanced piece of technology that would have allowed his workers to move the monumental piece. Either that, or he was simply delusional. Even modern engineers would need a miracle to move a block that big, and over a mountain, no less. Number 1. Ancient Britons In the early 1990s, the oldest human fossils ever found in Britain were excavated at Boxgrove, West Sussex. Archaeologists uncovered the leg bone and some teeth from a very early human species. This early human lived on British soil 480,000 years ago. Other discoveries at the site showed that prehistoric men and women lived and hunted horses, deer, and even rhinos. Yes, there were once rhinoceroses in England. 
Ever since the discovery, scientists have continued to struggle with the identification of the species. This ancient human-like animal lived many centuries before Homo sapiens ever evolved. Scientists suggested they may have been Homo heidelbergensis, a very primitive hominin that evolved in Africa. Other scientists have suggested an early group of Neanderthals that migrated from Eurasia lived here. To solve the mystery once and for all, scientists from the Natural History Museum in London compared the fossils from Box Grove to fossils discovered at La Cima in Spain. These other fossils are about 50,000 years more recent. Scientists wanted to see if the two groups of early humans were related, but they weren't. When scientists compared the bones, they found them to be from completely different species. We still have no idea who the mysterious primitives were. We don't know if they were Neanderthals or a completely unidentified species that has since gone extinct. Thanks for watching. What was your favorite discovery? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.